Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to show you how to use your S Pen button for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So guys, the first tip is about using your S Pen button for screen of memo. So for example, I lock my phone screen. Now I am in a hurry and I want to take uh, some notes. I want to add some reminder. So what I will do, I will just press my S Pen button and I tap on my screen two times like this so it will open the screen of memo and here I can take my notes okay so you can see over here now what I have to do for example I finish taking my notes I can just use this save option and it will be saved into my Samsung notes and then if I want to access I will just open my Samsung notes and here you can see my notes are now available here the next tip is using your S Pen button for PowerPoint slides presentation so for example I open my PowerPoint slides so here you can see I have different slides now now for example I want to select this present option so here the presentation is now open now what I have to do I just have to press my S Pen button I don't have to touch the screen to move between different slides so I will just press my button and here you can see it moved to the next slide if I press it again so I will press it and here you can see it move to the next slide. If you want to go back to the previous slide, you have to press it two times. So I will press it two times like this. So here you can see it go back to the previous slide. And if I press two times again, so here you can see it comes to the first slide. So this is how you can use your S Pen button to move between different slides in your PowerPoint presentation. The next step is using your S Pen button for Samsung notes. So if I press and hold this S Pen button like this, it will open the Samsung notes in my S23 Ultra and I can start taking my notes. I can change its size, I can make it bigger, I can change its position and I can also make it full size. Now inside Samsung notes, I can do a lot with this S Pen button. So for example, if I press and hold this S Pen button, it will start working as eraser. Okay, so here you can see I can erase anything. And now if I just leave it like this, it will go back to the pen mode and then I can write anything on my notes. The next thing is if I press it one time, it will change to my next favorite pen. So for example, if I just press it like this, so here you can see the pen mode is now changed. Now if I start writing, you can see there is a different pen. Okay, and then if I press it again, it will change to the next favorite pen. So if I will just press it like this, so there is a next favorite pen. So here you can see this is how it works to change between different pen. Inside Samsung Notes, you can also use this S Pen button for undo and redo. For example, I make this shape and now for example, I want to undo it. So what I have to do, I have to press my S Pen button and I move my pen in the air in the backward direction. So I will show you. So I will just press my S Pen button and I move it like this. So now here you can see it is now undo. If I want to redo again, I have to press my S Pen button but this time I have to move in this direction. So I will press and I move like this. So now it is redo. So this is how you can use your S Pen button for undo and redo. The next step is using your S Pen button for your camera. So I will turn on my camera and for example you want to take a picture just press your S Pen button like this and here you can see it start taking the picture. Now for example you want to change to the video mode. So what you have to do you have to just press the S Pen button and move your pen in this direction. Okay so I will show you I will press it and I will move so now here you can see it change to the video mode now if I want to record the video again I will press this S Pen button like this and here you can see it start recording the video now for example if I want to stop the recording again I will just press this S Pen button like that and here you can see the video is now stop now for example you want to go to the more option again press your S Pen button move like this it will go to the more option and then if you want to go back you have to move your pen in this direction by pressing your S Pen button so I will move back to video 
to photo mode and if i want to go to the portrait mode again i will go like this and if i want to take the picture again i will press this s pen button like this and it start taking the picture the next step is using your s pen button for screen shot so for example i will just want to take a screenshot of this part so now what i have to do i will press my s pen button and i move my pen in the air in the zigzag form so i will just press it and i will do like this so here you can see it take the screenshot and now for example if i want to write something if i want to point out something i can do all my editing and once i finish my editing i can just save it the next step is using your s pen button for smart select option so for example i open my internet browser and i want to use smart select here so now what i have to do i just press my s pen button and i move my pen in this direction so i just press and i move it like this so here you can see the smart select option is now open and now i can select whichever part i want so for example i want to select only this part so here you can see and now for example if you want to extract the text you can extract the text from it or if you want you can also save it to your images you can also edit it for example if you want to edit it you can edit it as well and then if you want to share you can select the share icon and you can share in different platforms the next step is about using your s pen button for your phone gallery so if i open my gallery and here i open one image now for example if i want to move to the next image i just have to press my s pen button one time and here you can see it move to the next image and then again if i press so here it bring the next image now for example if i want to go back to the previous image i have to press this s pen button two times so i will just press it two times so here you can see it go back to the previous image and then again press two times it will move back and then here you can see it will go back to the previous image so this is how you can use your s pen button for your gallery the next step is about using your s pen button for stopwatch so for example if i open my clock and here you see i select the stopwatch option now if i want to turn on the stopwatch i press my s pen button so here you can see the stopwatch is now started and now if you want to mark lab you can also again press the this s pen button so if i press it again so you can see this is lap one and if i want to mark uh, the lap again i will press it again and here you can see this is the second lap so this is how you can select different laps and you can use your s pen button for your stopwatch the next step is about using your s pen button for media control so for example i open my files and i uh, play this video so now here you can see i can use my s pen button to play and pause this video so for example if i want to pause it i press my s pen button and the video is now pause and if i want to play it again i will press my s pen button and it start playing the next thing is for example you want to move to the next video so you have to press your s pen button two times so i will press it two times like this so here you can see so now it turn on the next video and if i want to play it i just press it one time and it start playing and if i want to pause i can pause it now if i want to go to the next video i will just press it two times and here it will move to the next video so this is how i can use my s pen button for media control the next step is about using your s pen button for widget controls so for example i have this spotify widget and now you can see i have uh, this audio book now if i want to play it i will just press my s pen button like this and here you can see it start playing this audio book and now for example if i want to pause it again i press my s pen button like this and here you can see the audio book is now paused so here you can use your s pen button to control different widgets the next step is about using your s pen button to take notes over different apps so for example i open this internet browser and here i have this website and now i want to take notes in the meantime what i have to do i will just press my s pen button and i will tap on my screen two times so i will press it and i tap on my screen like this 
space so here you can see it open my notes and here i can take my notes the next thing is you can see it is blocking the view behind so if you want to see the app behind what you can do just select this bar and here you select this option of opacity and now you can start reducing the opacity like this so now you can see you can also see the app behind and in the meantime you can also take your notes and if you want you can also change its position you can change its size and you can also make it full screen as well the next step is about using your s pen button for internet browser so if i open my internet browser so here you can see i have this website now for example i want to move back to the previous page so i have to press my s pen button one time so i will press it like this and here you can see it will go back to the previous page and if i press it again so here you can see it go back to the first page and now for example if i want to move forward i have to press my s pen button two times so i will press it like this so it go to the next page and then if i press it again like this it will move to the next page so this is how you can use your s pen button inside your internet browser the next step is about using your s pen button for images for example i open my internet browser and here i select this images option now you can see i have different images so now for example i want to select this image i will press my s pen button and i tap on this image so now you can see a new window will open so in this window you have different options available so for example if you want to extract the text from this image you can just select it and here you can see the text is now selected now if you want you can use this text you can copy it you can select it you can share it as well you can do other things as well so for example if i do it again and then you can see you can also save your image you can copy image you can also clip subject from background the next step is about using your s pen button to open the air command menu so what you have to do you just have to bring your pen closer to the screen and then you have to press your s pen button like this so here it will open the air command option so here you can see you have different tools available you can create note you can use smart select you can use the translate option glance option there are a lot of options available in the air command menu the next step is about air actions customization so you have to go inside your settings once you enter into the settings just scroll down and you will see an option of advanced features just select it once you select it here you see the second option is about s pen just select it once you select it here you can see the very first option is about air actions so just select it first of all if it is disabled you can enable it from here and then here you can see the demo how you can use different air actions you can just select this option of learn how and here you can see you can try it out and then if i go back and if i scroll down here i have different air action options so for example the first option is about press and hold pen button i select create note but you can change it by just selecting from here you can select any options from here and then if i go back i have more options about air gestures so here you can see you have different air gestures option you can also customize it by just selecting it so here you can see you can select it now if i scroll down i have other option about air action for individual apps okay and then if you go down you can see it is showing you different actions about camera and also about media so here inside the air actions you can do all your customization so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much